I have been trying to do an experiment for the past six months or so that has not been working. And it's so frustrating because previously I have done experiment X on thing A and it has worked. So I thought, oh, I'll do experiment X on thing B and it will work. And that has just proven to not be true. And so I have just been bashing my head against this problem over and over for months. Work, work, work. And it took me just about six months to stop and say, wait a second, maybe you should start thinking about why it's not working rather than just banging your head against it for six months. And so today I am setting up an experiment because I have a hypothesis about why it's not working. So I am currently in the middle of a 30 minute uh, incubation step of the new experiment that I'm doing to try and test out my hypothesis for why this isn't working. So in 19 minutes and 35 seconds, this will go off and I will go back to completing the experiment. But I should have done this earlier. It shouldn't have taken me this long to stop and think about the why rather than just trying to do, do, do. And I think that that is one of the things that I struggle with the most in grad school and in science, is knowing when to stop doing and to start thinking. I know that sounds stupid, like of course I'm thinking all the time every day, but I find myself getting into these patterns where I'm just doing something and doing something and doing something and doing something and I just am trying to produce so much data and trying to get through the experiment and trying to get to the result in the end that I feel like I don't have time to sort of stop and evaluate and think because I just feel like I need to be doing more and more and more and more rather than just sitting and reading papers and thinking. I do make time for thinking. I try and block that off in my schedule, but so often if I have a three hour period of time blocked off on a Thursday morning where I am going to go to a quiet place and read papers, more often than not, I end up saying, ah, oh, but I could do my RNA extraction in those three hours, and then I could get another jump on my qPCR round. And it, it's just sort of this weird cycle where I just want to do, 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 and it's not right. It's not the right balance. And this is something that I think I am really here to learn in grad school, is to figure out where in my experimental process and my workflow I need to take those breaks and stop and really think about the why it's not working rather than just trying to keep making it work. And so I probably should have done this experiment that I'm doing today months ago. I really should have. I should have stopped when it didn't work the first few times and rather than try a slightly different this and a slightly different that and just try the experiment over and over and maybe try and switch the parameters so it would work, rather than trying to keep forcing it into working, I should have stopped and asked why it's not working. I am actively trying to balance out my workflow to make these things work and we'll see how it goes. I just really wish I had done this months ago. So help me out here. In the comments below, let's talk about how you guys also balance out this sort of doing and thinking halves of things. How do you make this work? And you don't just have to be a scientist. I love in my stupid proofing video how everybody from people in aviation to people who are baking to people who are doing, you know, sort of crafts and things talked about their methods of stupid proofing their own processes. I thought that was so cool because uh, yeah, it's super important in aviation that you go through a checklist before the plane takes off. And yes, a recipe and measuring out all your things first and moving things from one side of the counter to the other is exactly the same thing as what I'm doing here. So actually, especially if you're in other fields, tell me how you balance these things below because that was just, ah, oh, that blew my mind. I never would have thought of those things, but duh, it's super important to stupid proof those kinds of things. Go forth and think about the science that you're doing.